Hello, everybody. My name is Wang Chong. I uh, come from China, and uh, I was born and grew up in a very, uh, very small city in southeast China. Um, there, uh, which so this city is very small and uh, has very little access to art. Um, but uh, I was lucky to. Um, I was lucky to uh, join this community, which is called the China Original Studio, that uh, which which is like aimed to developing local independent documentary filmmakers. So I went there and I learned how to make a uh, documentary filmmaking. Um, and uh, yes. <laughs> Well, I uh, there is not actually a certain moment that I decided to be an independent filmmaker. I didn't know what uh, independent documentary filmmaker was back then. And as, as I said just now, uh, the city was very small with very little access to art. I was uh, studying broadcasting, like broadcasting, television, journalism in the village, in, in the uh, college in the same city, which I didn't really enjoy. I skipped the classes all the time. Uh, it was, uh, I was at, a, at an age of uh, uh, knowing nothing, like I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I kind of knew what I didn't like. So I tried to avoid all the classes in the school and then I met, uh, uh, somebody introduced me to Jian Yi and uh, his if China original studio and, and I went there and saw people doing you no know, I saw people some doing something really interesting but I, even though I didn't know um, I, I didn't understand what they are doing but I thought that this is something that I, I might like The first uh, motivation that made me start this project is, of course, my younger sister, Jean. We grew up together and we were the best of friends. And she, I'm, I'm the person that she feels uh, closest uh, with among the entire family. And there are a lot of questions about her birth uh, story. It's like a niece inside the family, even though my parents have um, talked a little bit like pieces by pieces every year, but it's never got uh, into an entire story. And this is a question in my mind for a long time. I always wondered what had happened to, what has happened to my younger sister. But then I didn't decide to make this film until one day I received a message from my, young, my older sister, Lee, and she told me that she's pregnant. She said that I'm gonna I'm gonna abort this baby if it's a, a girl again, and then I got shocked, and suddenly everything can you know came together in my mind at 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 that moment. Things about my younger sister, uh, things about my mother, her uh, sufferings, and then here again my elder sister, and I thought that okay, I think I should go home, and. Uh, do something, and then I decided to go home. It's actually very hard for them to understand what I was doing. Um, it's hard for them to understand what documentary is. It, it, it's, it's also, uh, I was also not clear about what documentary is or about, you know, the thing that I'm doing just for me, it's just I, I took my camera back home and asked questions and and record some videos and that's all. I'm trying to make some like put put the things together. I didn't, you know, have this idea of make a, a film about them, but uh, it's it's something that I want to do. So I need an excuse for uh, to to get them their permission. Since I was still in the college uh, in in the fourth year. And um, I told my parents that this is a homework from school. Please help me. And they said, okay.
Yeah, so I spent the first three years uh, staying at home and uh, filming them full time. And uh, in 2017 to 2019, I moved out from uh, my parents' house and uh, started the editing process. But during these two years, I also visited that visited my parents every now and then, and uh, always with my camera and shoot something. I actually didn't uh, think about audience at all at the beginning of shooting this film. For me, it's just me and the camera. I felt that me, the camera of, of I like we, I kind of can I kind of uh, couldn't separate with my camera, and I didn't have this idea of uh, it's gonna be a film that's gonna be like shown all, all around the world. I felt that I, I I started to think about the. Uh, the fact that uh, it's gonna <clears throat> it's gonna be a film, and especially at the uh, the very end of the process of producing this film, I knew that it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be something that people can watch it. And I started to think about and uh, the reason why I should uh, share this uh, film with others, and uh, is is. Kind of because of what my younger sister Jean said. She said that uh, like without uh, it's just a, a casual talk, and she said that there are many, many uh, classmates of mine when I was in the elementary school. Uh, they are girls, and they are uh, they are boarded and uh, and abandoned, just like me. And I was like, wow, there are so many you know so many things that I don't know, and they, there are so many things that people don't talk about some of the questions that people don't talk, don't ask. And I feel that I want to, like this film is just like an entrance for people to, you know, I want welcome people to have discussion about something that we forgot to talk about. Jane is an exception, but there are uh, a lot of uh, other babies are an exception from this uh, this system. So Jane, uh, I guess she is very protective with this uh, backstory, this history in her life. He, she is very sensitive uh, and she needs a lot of attention. And that makes her like char character uh, that's what my parents always says that she's weird. She's hard to communicate because she has to bear this uh, uh, this uh, tragic history in her life. But she never, she has never spoken out her feeling about that. And uh, she's trying to understand what my parents, like, She's trying to understand why my parents made that, that uh, decision to abort her and uh, to abandon her. But deep in her mind, I think that this uh, trauma is still really affecting uh, her behavior and her ha attitude toward my parents or, or even her attitude toward the entire world. I think it's just, I don't know, I, I can't say that uh, my family is a typical Chinese family, but uh, in my hometown, most of people, especially female, are following this uh, this uh, uh, path of uh, com compromising to their husband and their husband's families to give birth to more sons. They are trying to. Uh, it's also a decision making process. Like they want to have, uh, they 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 are willing to make a sacrifice to to have more babies even though they don't want to but it's all for a like a happy marriage they want to have a happy family they don't want to like fight against uh, you know too much too many conflicts between their marriage and these uh, two families so that they always sacrifice this
Uh, I was saying, depending on the documentary filming, uh, filmmaking is always, I'm, uh, I'm obsessed with it because it gives me freedom to film and to say what I want to say, including this film. Uh, I, 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 all the story came into, like, came out of uh, my willingness completely. And I'm happy with the outcome to have this uh, this film like uh, this way, but um, I would say I would like Chinese people uh, to have a chance to watch this film, but um, I, I'm not sure if this is gonna be happen. But I hope so. 